Hey guys, welcome outside to yet another ride test today. We are on the Pro CS1 from Ox E-Bikes. Now this is a beach cruiser, step through, comes with a rack, nice standover height, very manageable as far as the reach goes. Uh, integrated front lights, integrated rear lights, 750 watt motor, some nice springs in the butt for suspension here, plus we got the big fat tires, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna talk about as far as specs goes. If you wanna see more of those specs, we have a full in-depth review on it. This is basically the ride test. We're gonna feel it out, see how, how she rides, and talk about that. So let's go ahead and kick it off. First, let's go ahead and pedal this around as if it were not an electric bike. Go ahead and shift down. I always forget to do that. I get somewhere and I leave it in seventh. So let's say it's all right here. So we're in first gear. Let's go ahead and go from first to second. Nice shift there. Second to third. Good shift. Third to fourth. Good shift. Fourth to fifth. Fifth to sixth. Six to seven. Now all those were very good. Six to seven stalls just a bit but it does eventually just kind of drop right in there. So really no complaints as far as the shifting goes. Let's go ahead and turn around and power her on. How you doing? Good. All right, so she's on. Just gonna say hello to you know our fellow Cyclist can't be rude. Let's uh, let's do throttle only. Now you'll notice it is in pedal assist level zero, but we can still use the throttle. Some bikes will have that set in as kind of a safety feature where you can turn the throttle off by putting on a pedal assist level zero. Now with this one, that's not the case. So there's something to be aware of. And you are gonna be able to get to top speed here by using the throttle. I guess we're almost there. Cruise along a little bit more. Now, as far as the ride goes, even though we don't have that traditional front fork, we don't have that rear suspension, it is still a nice, comfortable ride with those big fat tires and those, those butt springs. So let's go ahead and test out the pedal assist, put in pedal assist level one. Now, something to note, pedal assist level one on this one is actually, I think it's like five miles per hour or so. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Now, it being five miles per hour, it is a little bit on the slower side. I think it may be the slowest pedal assist one. Sorry about that, five miles per hour. We'll go to pedal assist level two. That's gonna take us up to 10 or 11-ish. And pedal assist level three. We do get a nice bump there in pedal assist level three. That's gonna take us to about that 16, 17 miles per hour. Now this, if it were me and I could only pick one sort of configuration for the bike, this is how I'd ride. Pedal assist level three, seventh gear on this side. It's a very easy pedaling cadence. I feel like I'm getting some pretty good speed. No ghost pedaling, good to go. But if we go into pedal assist level four and I will turn around so we can see what that looks like. Now even pedal assist level four, the power curve getting up to those top speeds is still nice and smooth. So even if you start off with a higher pedal assist, it does feel nice and easy to get up there. So once we hit about 21, 22 miles per hour, actually still at 22, it's pretty, pretty nice. Now you do have to pedal at a little bit more of a cadence to avoid any ghost pedaling, but once we go in pedal assist level five, kind of going for those top speeds. Anything after about that 22, we are gonna get into some, some ghost pedaling here with the way that it's currently geared. That 22, 23. So, not terrible with the ghost pedaling, but once you get about that 24, if you want to go at like a nice, easy cadence, then you do run into a little bit, but it's not too bad. So let's go ahead 
and test out the brakes here. Do a little carousing. Over to that about 22, 23. So no skidding, nice control from about that 23, 24. And we're still getting about 10 to 12 feet on the stopping there. Now these are mechanical brakes. And like I mentioned in the review, that is probably something I would look to upgrade to hydraulics. Now I do think the Ox EUX guys, from what they were telling me, they do plan on upgrading everything to hydraulics. So this one has mechanical, but if you order this in the near future, you should be looking at some hydraulic brakes. I'm sure they will update that on their website once that happens, but for right now, you know, it is mechanical and they do the job that we need them to do. But who doesn't love a good mechanical brake? All right, guys, so that is pretty much it as far as the ride test goes. Like I said, if you want to know more about the battery, you want to know more about this whole bike, we have got the full in-depth review, which we will link here in the description. All right, guys, that is going to do it then, and we'll catch you on the next one.